Anytime. Hello, in case you forgot, my name is John Kishnerik, and uh, I'd like to paint you a little picture. You're working all day, really rough day of work. You have annoying customer after annoying customer after annoying customer. And all you want to do now is just go home, relax, and watch some TV. But first, you have to stay at work longer than you anticipated, and then you have to sit in traffic. And then by the time you get home, you catch the last five minutes of your favorite TV show. Three of those minutes are commercials, so really only catch two. Does that make any sense to you? That you're paying all this money and you don't even get to watch your own TV? You're paying for things that you don't need. And uh, Janelle, um, you're vegan. So what if I told you there was a food service that could deliver your favorite vegan foods? I meant tofu, almond milk, whatever you like. I mean, that sounds appealing. But the only way you could get this food is it gets packaged with food you don't like or you don't need, like steaks and chickens. I mean, steak and chicken, it's delicious, but you don't eat steak and chicken. So the only way you get it is if you pay for this package, but you don't eat it. I've just identified three problems with cable TV. It's wildly inconvenient. You have to pay for extra things you don't need or want. And there's commercials, which I absolutely loathe. <laughs> Today, I'm going to persuade you that cable TV is being outdated. Okay. Like I said, cable TV is inconvenient. You have to watch when they have your TV show on. So say if you miss your Walking Dead at 9 o'clock on Sunday, you might have to wait till midnight or 3 in the morning because you missed your show. With Netflix, Hulu, or any of these other alternatives, you could watch any show you want. If you want to watch Pretty Little Liars every single season, every single episode, go ahead. If you want to watch a couple episodes of Breaking Bad at your leisure, that's fine. Now you could argue that DVR is some sort of solution. Um, I argue that you could miss recordings because you might be forgetful like myself. Um, there might not be enough storage on the SD, uh, and you have to still pay extra for a DVR box. According to Slant.com, the quarter two subscribers to Time Warner Cable have been down 100, 191,000 customers. This year, they had only a measly 8,000 subscribers during their quarter two. That's compared to last year's 39,000. So they're down quite a lot. <clears throat> so why is cable TV dying? Like I said, there's more variety or you know, better variety on Netflix and Hulu. And according to MSN Money, uh, prices have risen for cable TV 6.3% each year for the past three years. Netflix, $8 a month for the instant. Um, not like If you like sports like myself, I like football. Um, so, you know, I like to watch my Jets win every other week. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, if I don't pay for cable TV, I mean, I could go to a bar or a restaurant if I don't want to pay for sports. But... They also offer the NFL channel or the uh, NBA channel, which is actually a pretty good idea, and we'll get to that. So this is a quick graph. Okay. On this side, um, after your first year, your to total cost for your HBO Gold package for cable TV is a staggering $234.55. Netflix Instant is $8.00. And instant with the hard copies um, that get delivered right to your door, $16 a month. So would you rather pay $8 or $16 a month or uh, $234 a year? <clears throat> so as I was saying about sports, the only thing that could probably save cable TV now is an a la carte style of TV. According to The Hollywood Reporter, there is a bill on the floor called the Video Act of 2013, soon to be renamed the Video Act of 2014. Um, and this would allow subscribers to pick what channels they want. So I want AMC, ESPN, and Comedy Central. I don't want to pay for Lifetime, Disney Channel, and Bravo, because I don't really watch them. Um, this would also allow parents to control, truly control, what their kids are watching. Um, there won't be as many complaints that they watch Miley Cyrus twerk on the MTV Video Awards because they don't subscribe to MTV. <laughs> you can subscribe to MTV, that's fine. Um, the FCC would intervene during retransmission battles, so if they want to uh, re-air something or if there's a problem, that kind of falls under the FCC's uh, jurisdiction. <clears throat> so now I'll wrap it up.
Um, the main reason Caveville TV is even still a thing is because it offers the triple play packages with Fios or Optimum. So you get cable, internet, and phone for same monthly rate. I think it's like eighty dollars. Um, I think also some people are afraid to switch to online uh, services because back before we had the online services, it was only cable TV. So when they would advertise, instead of getting 50 channels, you could get up to 400 channels with cable TV. And that meant at the time, that's amazing. 400 channels, unheard of. Now, 400 channels, it's a little superfluous and not necessary. So I ask you this. Why pay for something you don't need and you don't want? Thank you.